And she and her boyfriend went ahead and they started having kids. So she had two kids for her boyfriend in her husband's house. You know, so there was so much conflict. It was terrible. And the mother was like, wait, wait a minute. Are you trying to say you've never, you don't even know if he's a man? She said, no, mommy. The mother said, oh yeah, go back there right now. Go back and go and do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, she called me, she was like, ah baby, no go believe it, Mom, she just stuck now. Hey guys, you're welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time tuning in, where have you been? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so right now, I'm talking about sex before marriage. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Don't come for me. I'm going to drop my own opinion here, you know, but I also want to know what you think. Um, we all know, we always say it, I always say that sex is major in every intimate relationship. It is major, you know. But you know why in Africa, I am in Africa, I am in Nigeria and in Nigeria, I think we live in self-denial. No one wants to come off as a bad person. No one wants to admit that they're having sex. Meanwhile, everybody's having sex. But nobody wants to um, admit. I really don't know why. I don't know who we're trying to impress or who we're trying to deceive. Um, you know, this channel is about... We're going to talk about stuff in this channel that people don't like to talk about. We are going to talk about it. Well, before I started filming, I had spoken to a couple of um, individuals. I spoke to a lot of people and I realized that a lot of people actually subscribe to sex um, before marriage for different reasons but let me just first of all start with the reasons why some people don't want to have sex before marriage number one your religious beliefs hey mrs Rand ever your personal or your morals as Africans some other person might not want to have sex because they don't want to get pregnant somebody else might not want to have sex because of STDs I feel like out of these reasons that I gave only one is valid because there's a solution to STDs and there's a solution to um, unwanted pregnancy which is um, a condom a condom can solve the, those two problems but your religious beliefs is so valid if you feel like you don't want to do this until you get married that's so amazing you know i respect that that's valid but um a lot of people that i spoke with gave me reasons why they want to have sex before marriage or why they subscribe to sex before marriage and I feel like I agree with a lot of them because their reasons are quite valid. You know how sex is um, a major cause of conflicts in marriages and um, infidelity. I mean, you've heard of cases where women um, have agents that they pay to get them guys to sleep with them. Lots of women get married and then they realize that their husband is not able to satisfy them sexually and then they start to go outside looking for what's not lost and vice versa it's also the same thing so the first reason why a lot of people say they want to have sex before marriage is that they want to be sure that they're sexually compatible with their partners a lot of people are dating and they're in love their friends but when it comes to sex they're not compatible or they're not able to satisfy each other and it's very terrible. Do you know that there are some couples that just have an agreement that, oh, you just go out, look for someone to satisfy you, and then I'll look for someone, and they're fine. <laughs> and there are other couples that you see that you even envy. They don't have sex. There are some people that have sex maybe once in three months with their partners, with their husbands, you know, because they did not, um, they did not, they did not try it before they went into married they didn't try it before they went this before they said i do so um they realized that men you ain't good men you know i even remember let me just tell you guys a story i used to have a neighbor back then you know um they were having so much issues in their marriage they were having issues upon issues every single time and then we got to hear the real gist let me tell you guys what happened um she got married to the guy to the man when she was 16 she didn't know anything her parents imposed 
the man on her. You know how it is in the eastern part of Nigeria where once somebody, a family, someone in the family has money, people just believe that the full family is wealthy and they want to associate with that family. You know how it is. So, um, they hooked her up with the guy. She just finished secondary school. They hooked her up with the man. They wanted somebody in their family to get married from his family. Well, it was his elder brother that had money, not him. He wasn't wealthy. He was, he was just a regular man. But they pushed her into it. They got married. Do you know that after the wedding, they realized that the man is important. The man is important. She, you know, she, she was, of course she was young, but it got to a stage where she couldn't take it anymore and she went to tell her mom. And you know what her mother said? Her mother said, shut up your mouth. Don't ever allow anyone hear this from you. Go back to your husband's house. Eh, who do you want to disgrace? Go back to your husband's house. Come on. I'm telling you, that's what her mom said to her. Do you know that for 10 years, people called her Barry? The man went about telling the world that she was barren. He didn't ever tell anyone that the problem was from him. They were calling her barren. People were laughing at her. Of course, he trained her in school. She studied law. And years later, about 12 years later, she, um, of course, she had other affairs outside. And she and her boyfriend went ahead and they started having kids. So she had two kids for her boyfriend in her husband's house. You know, so there was so much conflict. It was terrible. And they got separated at the end of the day, you know. So there are so, there are so many men that um, know that they cannot perform. And they now tell you that, oh, um, no, 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 I don't believe in sex before marriage. Some people deceive people. And then when you get into it, you realize that you've been deceived by the one you claim to love. Someone else said that um, her sister got married to someone and then his penis was too small and she didn't know because when they wanted when they were cutting, there were there were times where she tried to, you know, even know if he was a man, but he was resisting, he was saying no, he's Piricoco, ah, he's born again. And she she really believed him, went into it and realized that his penis was so small. And she has a very high libido. She loves sex. You know, she has a very, very high libido. And then trust me, she's actually having an affair outside. So sex, we cannot downplay the importance of sex. Even though religiously it's 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 wrong, you know, but let's be realistic. A lot of people go into marriages and they suffer for life. So if you believe that you don't want to have sex before um, you get married, that's fine. If that's your plan, you know, it's fine. But it's worth discussing with your partner. It's something you should talk about. Because some women <laughs> don't like sex. So if you know you're that kind of woman that don't like sex, tell your partner you don't like sex. Let your partner say, okay, sweetheart, I'm going to go ahead with this. You know, let people know what they're going into. Let him say, oh, sweetheart, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to make you like it. You know, but don't come out and deceive people in the name of um, religion. Don't deceive people. Let them know what they're getting into. Let me tell I have you. a friend that was going to get married to her fiance. So they traveled to the city where her parents lived. They went to see her parents. And then the fiance was lodged in a hotel. He lodged in a hotel. And then she was in her parents' house. So in the morning, she would just quickly run to the hotel, see him briefly. She was always doing it briefly, and then she would come back home. So one day her mom asked her, why are you always coming back home? Why haven't you spent the night? Why don't you just sleep there? She told her mom that, no, no, no. He said that um, no sex before marriage. And the mother was like, wait, wait a minute. Are you trying to say you've never, you don't even know if he's a man? She said, no, mommy. The mother said, oh, yeah, go back there right now. Go back and go and do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, she called me. She was like, ah, baby, you're not going to believe what your mom just talk now. And I was like, wow, only very, very few African mothers are like that. And people even perceive them to be bad mothers. But I feel like she knew exactly what she was saying. She knew exactly what she was doing. She knew that her daughter had gotten to that stage. You know, a lot, I think that they, they don't tell us a lot of things. Our parents don't, they allow us to figure things out ourselves. And it's not fair. There are so many things people don't know about childbearing. There are so many things people don't know about marriage, about sex. They only tell you keep yourself. They don't tell you basic things that you need to know. They don't tell you the importance of the things, you know, that you're going into. When you get there, you now start to realize by yourself, it is not fair. 
parents should stop imposing marriages on people parents should stop um allowing children go into stuff without knowing fully what they're going into you know so i found her mom really 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 strange like i was like wow i really love your mom she's so cool she was like ah uh, my mom see you know but i feel the mother knows exactly what she's doing i know that as a parent you want the best for your kids you don't want them to go astray you don't want them to you know get it wrong but please i beg let them know they are adults at some point your child will become an adult you have to accept that oh this girl is growing up and she ought to know some things because when you tell them things when you tell them the truth you're going to um you're going to help them prevent you're going to be helping them because a lot of things will be avoided a lot of things that would have happened in the future a lot of mistakes they would have made you would have helped them through it so let's just stop being too religious about um things like this sex before marriage is very important to some people and to some people it's a no no i just want to know what you think guys what do you think about sex before marriage please drop a comment in the comment section as usual i'll be right there waiting 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 to hear from you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the subscribe button that button please just hit the subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well share it with your friends share with people share your opinions too with people your opinions let people know your opinion let, let us know what you think let us know we're not babies anymore man it's high time we told ourselves the truth don't you think so all right guys i'm gonna see you in my next video thank you for staying with me bye guys